Archie is posing for us a little bit, giving us a nice little prance, and you can see just how big and floofy he is. He looks like the quintessential American Eskimo. So the dog seems to be looking at the shelter, which is this weird trend I've noticed. I'm going to go ahead and crop this image, do that 4 by 5 crop, bring it in, and we're going to make sure that the dog is the center of this photo. As a small dog, so the temptation is to get a lot of the frame out, but I'm going to leave a little bit leading there. I'm going to go ahead and do the white balance here. So I'm going to just pick a spot anywhere on the dog's fur, probably just right between the eyes there. And we're a little bit on the magenta side. I'm going to take that down a little bit. So we're going to bring the saturation all the way up. Help us decide. It looks like some spots of the fur got a little bit of that yellow. That happens a lot with these white dogs. Fur, they're not perfectly white. Not going to worry too much about that, but we do see a little bit of green color cast on the chin there. So we'll see if we need to clean that up later. Let me reset the saturation. Then I'm going to let Lightroom do a little bit of the work, hit that auto function, and that cleaned up the photo all right. So I'm going to move on. Here you go, this mask. Do a subject mask. Get that whole dog in there. Use this dog contrast clarity dehaze curve that I have. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the shadows, bring down the highlights, just because that adds a little bit too much contrast. And then I'm going to bring up the exposure and maybe not too much overexposing the dog a little bit. I'm going to bring down the saturation on the dog here a bit because it's an all white dog. So I'm not that worried about preserving color. I'm also going to add a tiny touch of warmth. See, this is before the mask. This is after, so we're just adding a little bit of really definition to this part of the photo. The rest of the photo kind of looks the same. And we're going to go ahead and take this brush. We're going to zoom in here to the chin of the dog. Pick up anything that looks green. I'm going to bring that tint towards the purple there until I can get rid of that. And then I'll also desaturate a little bit. And then when you desaturate, you take some exposure out. So you need to re-add the exposure just very carefully. And you're trying to get it to match with the rest of that. I'm feeling good about that. So go ahead and take this back out. And we see we've cleaned up this chin. So there we go. I'm going to edit the dog's eyes. A lot of the editing that I would normally do on the dog's eyes has already been done from that general mask. So I'm going to be careful here. But I am going to try to see if I can bring up the exposure a little bit without making it too unnatural looking. And bring it up just that little bit there. Bring up the saturation. Bring up the temperature. So I can re-add the saturation there because I took that away from the fur. And that's going to be the effect there. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and edit in Adobe Photoshop. And I'm going to use this remove tool. I'm going to do Command Plus, zoom in, Control Plus for those of you following along on Windows. And I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this leash here. I'm going to use the left bracket to make it smaller. Fit it in here. Go over it. And I'm going to lose a little bit of fur. That's okay. This dog has plenty of fur to, to donate to this to my art here. But don't want any fur to look unnatural and weird. I'm going to go back to where I had the sleash here. And I am going to use my lasso tool. I'm going to try to trace that leash where it appears in the fur. Okay. And then from there, I'm just going to generate a fill. And I'm going to see what it does. All right, so that actually looks like a natural fix. If you're having issues with the edge of the fur and you get something weird like that, looks like generative fill is going to be the way to go. But now I'm going to go ahead and use the remove tool. I'm going to clean up this dog a little bit. First, I'm going to flatten the image. And now I can use the remove tool. Get rid of that little spot there. Your little eye bogey. And I think we're good. Zoom back out. There's this ugly fence line here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to use, I'm going to use the lasso tool to select it. Just draw a line around it. Select that and then generative fill. I'm going to let it choose. Okay. So basically I'm picking how many branches I want. I feel like this looks more natural. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that one. Hit save after you flatten the image. And now through the magic of the integrated software, it's in Room Classic. Yay. All right. So the last steps here, we're going to go ahead and go to this HSL tool. We're going to go to the hue. We're going to take this green and we're going to move it towards yellow. That just makes it a little bit less distracting. I'm also going to decrease the saturation, even more or less distracting. I said what I said. And we're going to go to this effects. We're going to add a little post crop vignette, minus 15, even more or less distracting. And then we can bring the exposure up a little bit until it's just barely overexposed. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit of warmth to the dog. And that's the dog.